Hello, little ninjas. Welcome. It's good to see you guys. I hope you're having a good time. Um, before we begin today's lesson, let's just go through a few things. First of all, uh, I hope you guys are wearing either your martial art uniform or any kind of uniform or exercise outfit that you can train in and have a lot of fun in that's comfortable and moves well. Uh, secondly, I hope you're on a floor that's safe. Um, so if it's a slippery floor or if it's a hard floor, please make sure you're not wearing slippery socks or anything that you could slip and fall. Um, ideally, it's going to be a nice carpeted floor or maybe you have a mat or a yoga rug or something like that that you can do some awesome stuff on and that would be fantastic. Uh, I think the last thing I'm going to say right now before we begin is please remember to have good yes sirs. So if I say Baro, you say yes sir. And if I say Shishak, you say yes sir. Um, and all that kind of stuff and you already know that. So without any further ado, let's begin. So if you can stand up nice and strong, awesome. And take your one hand, make it a strong fist, take your power and take your other hand, cover your power with your wisdom and bow. And let's begin. Well guys, today I'm really excited. We're gonna get to go on a, an awesome imaginary adventure. So today, we're gonna go to the kingdom of Allegoria. Now, Allegoria is an awesome magical kingdom um, in our imagination, and we're gonna go there because they need our help. You see, in Allegoria, um, they have a problem. There's been uh, not enough heroes lately, so there's a bunch of monsters who moved in, and the monsters are causing problems. So they need us to come in there and be like, Whoa! be little ninjas and, um, and young heroes, and help them. So that's something we're going to get to do today. It's going to be fun, it's going to be safe, and we're going to learn a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So, uh, yeah, so let's begin. Let's stand up. Awesome. Good. And uh, let's get started on our journey to the Team of Allegoria's Hero Training Camp. So following me, she shack. You say, yes, yeah, sir. All together, she shack. Yes, yeah, sir. Awesome. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, little ninjas. Well, let's begin. So let's start with a good jog because we have quite a ways to go. So with me, start jogging in place. Now we don't move forward and we don't move back. We're going to just stay right where we are. And we're just jogging in place. A nice, easy jog. That's right. Cool. Well, in your imagination, you can imagine us like jogging down a path. Maybe there's some trees on either side of us. Maybe there's a lot of grass and different things, and we're just having a good time jogging. But now we're starting to get warmed up, so maybe we're gonna jog a little bit faster. Maybe we're gonna jog even faster. Yeah. And speeding up even more. Speeding up even more. Good. And 10 seconds, really jogging fast. Good, and slow it down. Whew. That wasn't 10 seconds, but that's okay. So now, as you jog carefully, start to try and kick your butt. Yeah, that's right. Get some good butt kicking in. Butt kicking is a good, great way to start an adventure. Awesome. And now, you can start to do some high knees. So bring your hands in front and start to bring your knees up and pat your hands with your knees. Good. Hopefully you're starting to get warm. And now, you can go back to jogging. Good. Jogging a little bit more. And starting to slow down just a little bit. Now, we jog all the way along that path. That was really good. Keep jogging. And now, we've gotten to basically a nice pond. Now, we're going to have to cross this pond. And we're in luck. There's some boats along the shore. So when we get there, we're gonna hop in the boat. So, see the pond up, pond up ahead? Good, we're getting really close. So now, hop in our boat. So, find your boat. Cool. Now to get in the boat, you sit down on your butt, bring your legs out to make the boat, and you grab your oars. And we're gonna start to row. We start to row our boat. That's right. Rowing your boat across the pond. Row with me. Make sure your legs are up. Make sure your feet are up. And row your very best. Good. You can even sing with me. And all together, you know the words. Row, row, row your boat. Gently cross the pond. Merrily, 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 merrily. Merrily, merrily, merrily. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. 
Gently cross the pond. Merrily, 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 merrily. <laughs> awesome, good job, guys. Now, time to get out of our boats. But there's a little bit more water that we have to cross. It's just not good for boats. So for now, lift, lie on your front, lift your legs up, lift your arms up. And now, we're gonna start to swim. Yeah, really swim. Now there's different ways to swim. There's something called a breaststroke, which is kind of like this, kind of. Um, you might wanna try front crawl where you flutter your feet like this, making sure you don't kick anything behind you and your arms can go like this as you do it. But swim, imagine yourself swimming. Really lift your body up as you swim. We're almost there. Good, good, good job, little ninjas. And now we made it to the base of the mountain where the where the hero training camp is. So we just had to climb the mountain, and there's a good move for that called mountain climbers. So go on push-up position like this. Good, and bring your leg forward and back, forward, back, forward, back. Forward, back, 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 uh, Kung Fu training school on the top of the mountain. So around us there's some big nice walls and we have this big great stone courtyard where we can all train our martial arts together. And there's all sorts of great martial art teachers here and we're gonna get to learn some awesome martial arts and other things that are gonna help us on our adventure. We're gonna start with one of the most important moves. It's called our broken bow stance. So stand up nice and strong with me, good. And from here we go right leg back, Jumbe. Now your right leg, if you're facing the same direction as me, this is your right leg. If you're facing across from me, if you're facing towards me, then it's that leg. That's your right leg. So right leg back jumbi. Your right leg comes up. We slap. So we go right leg back jumbi. Slap. And then we step back with our foot. Our hands come up and we shout, hey! Good. So right leg back jumbi. Hey! Good. And now you're ready. Now your front leg, that's your jab arm. So start doing some jabs with me. Good. Your jab, come out. You have a nice fist, your fingers are bent, your thumb is right like here. Not here, right here. And you're doing your jab. Keep your arm a little bit bent, don't straighten it all the way, keep it a little bit bent as you do your jabs. So just keep on jabbing with me. Good, really, really good. Get that jab out. Jab is one of the most useful punches in all of martial arts. Good, now, your arm might be feeling a little bit tired, so we're gonna add in another punch. This is the other really, really, really useful punch. It's called a cross. Now when you do your cross, your body moves. So look at my foot. When I do it, I turn my foot. If you look at my foot, uh, look, yeah, that's called a ball exchange. So as I punch, I turn and I punch with my body. My body turns into it, makes it extra strong, and let me punch further. So together, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Good, and you want to be punching nice and straight. Good, good, so that's your jab. Cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Good, let's mix it up a little bit. Jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Good, awesome. So now we do some blocking. So with me, blocking, cross palm block, cross palm block. So both your hands are up, your hand comes across. Keep on going with me, copy me. Cross palm block, cross palm block, cross palm block, cross palm block. Now I think you have this, so I'm gonna bring in instructor Peter. Uh, using my editing magic to um, to help us demonstrate the next part of this. So, focus with me. Hey, thank you, Peter. Awesome, welcome. So, we're gonna begin. I'm gonna throw my. He's gonna actually throw a jab cross at me. And I'm gonna do my cross palm block. Awesome. Keep on doing your cross palm block while he does this. Now, you'll notice I'm pushing his hands across his body. This is called closing the door. So my hands are staying up, his hands are staying up, and as I walk, if you can punch very slowly, sir, I'm pushing his hand this way. If I push his hand this way, he can still punch me. 
So I want to close the door by pushing it here. Now if it tries to punch me, the door is in the way. So we're always closing the door. Thank you, Instructor Peter. Cool. Awesome. So now, students, I want you to try blocking it. So here comes some punches right at you. So as the punch comes, cross palm block it, push it this way. Good, now here comes the cross, push it this way. Good, so the punch is coming, push it this way, push it this way, push it this way, and you're always pushing it so that the arm is closing in front of me. Good, so cross palm block, cross palm block, cross palm block, cross palm block. Good, nice blocking. Now you might need this if we're on an adventure and the monster starts to throw, throw a punch at you, you'll know what to do. You'll know how to do your cross palm blocks. So now we're gonna do one more punch. This is called a hook. So with your hook, take one elbow, lift the elbow up to your shoulder height. Now with your body, turn your body so your arm comes in front of your face. Bam! Like that. Good. And then your elbow comes back down and you come back to your sparring stance. Now with your other side, elbow comes up and slowly, I'm gonna do it slowly this time. You turn your body, boom! Just like that. Drop the elbow, come back. And hook, and hook, and hook, and hook, and hook. And hook, and hook, and hook. Good, nice hooks, guys. Keep those hooks going. They're looking really good. Awesome. Good, hooks are really strong. They're a really good, strong punch. But, if someone doesn't hook at us, there's a couple ways that we can dodge it. So keep or block it. So keep on doing your hooks. Now, the first way is if someone does a hook high up at your head, keep on hooking, you can duck. Now when you duck, you don't want to lean forward. You're bending at your knees, so you're going down like this. So if those hooks are coming, you can duck just like this. Ah, Dr. Peter, can you throw a hook at me, please? Awesome, thank you, and again. Awesome, and again, and again. Awesome, just like that. Thank you, Dr. Peter. Awesome. So, little ninjas, um, so when I throw a hook at you, you duck, get ready, and duck, and duck. And duck, and duck, and duck, and duck, and duck. Good, now here's your challenge. So duck, and then throw a hook. So get ready, and duck hook, duck hook, and duck hook, duck hook. Good, awesome, well done little ninjas. So now, let's do some kicking. So right in the back, Jumbei. Awesome, the first kick is a high rising heel kick. This makes our kicks strong and flexible. So keep your legs straight, bring it up and back. And this is a stretch kick. So you wanna go keep your legs straight, but you wanna feel a little bit of a stretch in your leg. Good, so keep swinging that leg straight up. Now I can switch my feet. Now this foot's back. So my back leg comes forward and I do my kick. And I do my kick. Just like that, good. And if you want to do something even harder, but even more awesome, you can switch your feet each kick. Kick, switch, kick, switch, kick, switch, kick, switch, kick, switch. This is called alternating high rising heel kicks. And it's a really, really good warm up for kicking. Keep it going. A couple seconds more, doing your very best. High rise and heel kicks. Awesome. Good job. And right in the back, Jumbe. Hi. Now, another stance is called crane stance. This is one of the most important stances in kicking. So for your crane stance, your back leg comes up, but it bends. And your toes point down. So balance with me. Lift your knee nice and tall, and try and balance nice and still if you can. Crane stance. Good job. And put it down. So show me your crane stance again. Now, from your crane stance, we can do an awesome kick fault called a front snap kick. I think you guys know this. So your foot comes forward like this and hits. Now notice, I'm hitting with the ball of my foot, this part here. So you can practice this by pretending to be wearing high heels and walking around, like so. Now, uh, when you actually want to do your kick though, uh, you lift your leg into crane stance, you snap your foot out, and you come back to crane stance and put your leg down. That's called a front snap kick. Let's do it together. So leg up, front snap kick and back. Front snap kick and back. Front snap kick and back. Keep it going. Good. And pop watch chain sides. Hi. And 
and snap kick and back, 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 and snap kick and back. Good, awesome. But if someone does a front snap kick at you, you want to know how to block it. So the first thing is how we move our feet. This is called a V step. So I'm moving, kind of like I'm making a V shape. So I'm stepping forward into the side, forward into the side. I'm not stepping straight forward, and I'm not stepping straight to the side. I am stepping diagonally, forward and to the side. And switch. Good, so keep V-stepping. Awesome. Show me those V-steps. Non-stop V-stepping. Good. Now, while we keep on V-stepping, we can add in some blocks. So this is called a reverse brush block. So as you step, your arm goes down and you're pushing away from you. I like to think of a reverse brush block kind of like you're trying to push away a fart. So if, if I was down here and I went and I pushed away a fart, kind of like that. So V-stepping, keep on V-stepping, push that fart away. <laughs> Whoa, good, very nice. Now, let's show you what that would look like with a partner. So, thank you, Dr. Peter. Good to see you, sir. Awesome, little ninjas. So keep on V-stepping like this. Good, so keep your V-step going. Now add in your reverse brush blocks. And sir, if you could please go right back, Jumbe. Hey, very nice, awesome. So keep on V-stepping, if the kick comes in, you V-step and push to the side. Now the kick comes on the other side. Awesome. And so, this is how you can lock a front snap kick. Really good for my belly, sir. Yeah, and again. Whoa, nice. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Students, now I'm going to kick at you. And when I kick at you, oh, thank you, sir, Peter. Awesome. So, students, when I kick at you, uh, I want you to do that. So start V-stepping, make sure you're V-stepping. Here comes the kick. Ooh, you wanna push it this way and step that way. Good, again, here comes the kick. Push it that way, step that way. Here comes the kick. Here comes the kick. Here comes the kick. Here comes the kick. Good, let's change sides. Hot boy, change sides. Hi, good. So kick's coming with this leg. Push it this way with your hand and step that way. Good. And good. Here comes the kick. V stepping to that side, just that side. Yeah, so push my foot this way, step that way. Good job, little ninjas. So, the last thing we're going to do today uh, in our hero training camp is learn how to dodge if someone's attacking us with a weapon. So, I'm going to bring Sergeant Peter back. Hey, welcome back, Sir Peter. Awesome. Now, little ninjas, you probably know this. This is based on the game Beat the Child with a Stick. So if someone swings at your head, you duck. If someone swings at your feet, you jump. And if someone goes to cut you in half, you open the door. Or to the other side, you open the door. Now, when you open the door, you do a little V-step, and you swing your body around. So I'm V-stepping to the side, and swinging just like that. Make sense? Awesome. So, little ninjas, thank you, sir. Little ninjas, uh, let's play this together now. So I'm gonna swing at your head and you duck. Get ready and duck. Whoosh. And again, get ready and duck. Whoosh. When you duck, make sure your hands are up. You're ducking nice and low. Get ready and duck. Whoosh. Good, now jump. When you jump, bring your knees to your chest up high. And jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Good, now I'm not gonna say it, I want you to time it to where I'm swinging. Oh, did I get you? Good, now let's try opening the door. So I'm gonna cut down, and I want you to swing out of the way. Get ready, and open the door. Good, I'll go slow, open the door. Whoosh. Open the door. Good, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Good. Now it's the same move if I go to stab you. 
So get ready and open the door. Yeah, so swing it out of the way just like that. I'm going to stab you, boom, opening the door. Very nice. Good job, little just That was great. Awesome. I think you're fully trained. I think you're ready to go on our adventure for today. So, fantastic work. That was a lot of fun. Hope you learned locks. Hope you got a good exercise. And now we need to use our skills on our adventure. Awesome, guys. So, let's start with the jog. So, the first thing we're going to do on our adventure is we're going to go find the wise wizard Simon. Now, Simon will be able to give us really good advice about what we should do to help the Kingdom of Allegoria. Now, we're all running to go see the wise wizard Simon, and while we do, I'm going to explain something to you. Okay? So, there's something called shadow boxing. The martial artists have done shadow boxing for a long time. It's where we use our martial arts skills and our imagination together. I imagine someone attacks me, I throw a punch, or maybe I imagine I throw a kick and knock them over. So that's called shadow boxing. It's basically pretend fighting or fighting imaginary bad guys. It's a really fun way to do it, but it's also good practice. Whew. Well, little ninjas, I think we're getting pretty close to Simon's house. So, um, yeah, so we're just gonna jog a little bit further now. Now that we've talked about shadow boxing and all that, I think we're ready for, wait, what's that? Oh no, I think we're being attacked by shadow ninjas. We might have to use some of our shadow boxing. Instructor Peter, join us. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Awesome, okay, little ninjas, are you ready? We're gonna need to use our shadow boxing to fight against the shadow ninjas. Now, remember, they're imaginary, so you have to imagine them attacking you so you can walk and you can imagine hitting them back and using your moves. So practice what we know, let's fight some shadow ninjas. We got the sir. Yeah. Keep on fighting, little ninjas. Work together. Together, we can do this. Take out those guys. Good. Really nice. Looks like it's going pretty good. The last few are coming to get us. Oh, and one's coming right for you. Okay, little ninjas, you know what to do. You practiced this before. So, here comes a shadow ninja, and he's going to throw a jab. So, cross palm block. And here comes a cross. Cross palm block. Good. Awesome. Maybe he's going to throw a hook. You can duck. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Keep on walking. Keep on dodging. Don't let him hit you. Good. Nice. Maybe you can throw some punches at his belly. Cool. 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 Oh. Ooh. Nicely done. Oh no, here comes a front snap kick. Remember what to do. Oh, good job. Here comes another front snap kick. And a jab. Cross. And a hook. Good. This is a good time for your front snap kick. Good. And. Jab, cross, duck, duck, duck. And now you do a front snap kick. Boom. Oh, good job. And let's do one more. Jab, cross, hook. Oh, front snap kick. And whew, I think the ninjas are done fighting for today. Oh. Okay, well, little ninjas, we made it all the way to the home of the wise wizard Simon. So he should be around here somewhere. Maybe call out for him like me. Wise Wizard Simon! Oh, Simon! Wise Wizard Simon! Oh, there he is. Welcome to the home of the Wise Wizard Simon! I am the Wise Wizard Simon! And I, being so wise, know that you are here to get help with your adventure. You seek knowledge. Knowledge I will give you if you play my game. My game is called Simon Says. <laughs> now, the way this game works is I will tell you. I will say Simon Says. Something like sit on the ground. And you will sit on the ground. So sit on the ground. If I say Simon Says, 
then you do it. If I just tell you to do it, don't do it. Make sense? So stand up. See, normally, you'd be caught there, because I didn't say Simon Says. Now, if I trick you, five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. So, hopefully you're ready to play. So, Simon Says, take a seat. Are you sitting? Simon Says, stand back up. Good. Now try that again. Oh, did I catch you? Did you sit? If you sat, five jumping jacks. You should still be standing. Good. Okay. Try this again. Simon Says, take a seat. Simon Says, stand back up. Simon Says, flop your arms. You jump like a bear, five jumping jacks. Because Simon didn't tell you to jump like a bear. Or did you follow along? Are you doing really well with this? Well, let's keep going. Simon says, duck! And jump cross! Oh, did I catch you? I didn't say Simon says. Try it again. Simon says, jam cross duck! Magical jewels have the power to make you a greater hero and also to help the kingdom. Now, only you can use the power of these magical jewels, but I can help you find them. The first magic jewel can be found in the mountain of social distancing. I mean, the lonely mountain. Now, the lonely mountain has a cave and inside this cave is a dragon and the dragon has a hoard of treasures and inside the hoard of treasures is the first magic jewel good luck young heroes and on behalf of all of allegoria i thank you for your courage Ooh, well good job ninjas let's start running again we got a little ways to go to get to the lonely mountain um, so, as we jog, we can talk a little bit. You guys are doing great. Uh, so, fantastic work. But get that good jog going. Getting some good exercise, keeping that heart rate up. So, while you run, pay attention to what's around you. Good, let's run at high knees. Bring those knees up in front of you. Good. And kicking your butt as you run. Kick those high knees. Get it? Get it. Your butt's your hind. Anyway, keep on running. Good. Back to normal running. Good. Oh wait. What's that noise? Not again. 
The ninjas were being attacked by shadow ninjas. Well, little ninjas, it looks like we're being attacked by some shadow ninjas with sticks. Luckily, you know what to do. Here they come. They might swing your head. Make sure you duck. If they swing your feet, jump. If they cut down at you, open the door. Okay, you know, I'll take care of the sun. You take care of this guy. Open the door, good. And open the door, good. And duck. And oh, oh, jump, jump, jump. Good. Open the door. Good. And duck, duck, duck. Good. And jump, 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 jump. And open the door. Open the door. Good. Awesome. Whew. That should buy us some time. Now, when they come at you, because they're going to get a second wave really soon, when they attack, if you open the door, then you have a moment where you might be able to do some punching too. Or let's say you jump. You can jump and then throw some punches and stuff. So if you jump or something like that, do your dodge and then try and get a few attacks in there too. Are you ready? You got this. Here they come! Whoa. So here it comes. You see the swing at your head. You see some duck. Good. And now do some attacks. Boom, 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 boom. Good. You see the swing at your feet. Jump. And now do some attacks. Good. He's going to stab you. Open the door. And now do some attacks. Good. Awesome. He's almost done. He's going to do one last big attack at you. Boom. Open the door. Do some attacks. Awesome. Good job, little ninjas. We did it again. You're doing great at this. Fantastic work. Well, looks like we're just about there at the Golden Market Mountain. Let's just run the last little bit. Run with me. Come on. Run fast. We're almost there. Whew. Awesome. Now we made it. We're at the Lonely Mountain. Now, before we go inside the cave, let's have a little talk. So come on. Come on over. Awesome, good to see you. Now, please sit uh, nice and strong, either on your knees or cross-legged, and let's let's talk about dragons for a little bit. Because there's a dragon in this cave, and we want to know how to face a dragon. Now, don't worry, we're gonna do this in a way that's safe and awesome. So, a couple things about dragons. First of all, dragons are really strong. They are like super strong, and they're also really smart, but they usually aren't that wise. Now, there's different ways to face a dragon. Um, sometimes people try and sneak in and steal from the dragon, but that doesn't usually work. The dragon usually smells them and catches them, and it's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> and then, sometimes, people try and go in and fight the dragon, and they go in there and they have a battle with the dragon, and usually the dragon wins, but, uh, but not always. Uh, and then the last way is actually my favorite. Uh, and I think the last way is really cool. The last way, we go in and we tame the dragon. Now, what that means is, you know if you have like a, a wild animal, it doesn't really know how to treat you and maybe, uh, you know, you wouldn't go up to a wild dog or a wild bunny and just put your hand on it. It might freak out and bite you or something. Uh, but if you have a pet rabbit, it's generally safe to pet it or a you know, if you have a dog, it's safe to pet your dog, and all those kind of things. So it's kind of like learning how to uh, kind of make a little bit of a friendship with the dragon. So I think that's how we're going to handle this dragon. But if we want to tame a dragon, we have to understand the dragon's weakness. Now, most dragons have the same weakness. See, they want treasure more than anything else in the world. They want it so much that they spend all their time trying to get treasure, and then when they have a whole lot of treasure. They spend the rest of their time trying to protect the treasure and guard the treasure. They don't want anyone to touch their treasure. So, uh, they focus so much on their want for treasure that they ignore the things that they need, the things that would make their life wonderful. Things like friendship or, or family or going out and flying in the air or anything that's really, really cool the dragons can do, but they don't usually get to do because they're so busy with their treasure. So little ninjas, do you know the difference between wants and needs? This is actually a really cool and powerful idea. 
So listen closely. So weeds are actually really cool. They're really important and they're wonderful. Uh, everybody has needs. Needs are the things that we need to have in order to live and live well in our lives. So um, this would be things like we need food, we need sleep. Can you guys think of any other things that we need? Yeah, feel free to just shout it out. Nice. Yeah, we need food, we need sleep, we need water, we need air, we need love. Those are some of the big ones. There's, there's a couple other ones too. We need safety and a couple other things, but, and shelter. But food, water, love, these are really, really important needs that, that everybody has that are actually really wonderful and really beautiful. So wants are how we think we can meet our needs. And sometimes what we want is actually good at meeting our need. And sometimes what we want is really not good at meeting our need. Now, let's give an example. So if you were thinking about food, maybe you were hungry and you knew you needed some food. Maybe you would want to eat an apple. Apple's pretty good. Or maybe you'd want to eat a big piece of chocolate cake covered in sprinkles and candy, right? That kind of worked, but you probably wouldn't feel as good after. Or maybe you want to eat a shoe. <laughs> now, if you want to eat a shoe, you're probably really not going to feel good after, right? So wanting the apple is a good way to meet that need, and it's wonderful to want an apple. Wanting to eat a shoe, maybe not so good. <laughs> So, uh, so that's kind of the difference between needs and wants. Can you give me some examples of things that you want? Yeah, feel free to shout it out. Nice. Yeah, maybe it's a toy or maybe it's, you know, all sorts of different things that we can want. So wants and needs are both wonderful and they're both important. But when our wants get in the way of what we need, then they cause problems for ourselves and they can also cause problems for others if it gets in the way of what they need. So really wise people, they kind of manage their wants. They think about, well, do I, what do I want? And will this really be good for me? Will this be good for the people around me? And they think these kind of thoughts. So the wise people learn to kind of have um, wise wants. And if they want something that's really not good for them, maybe they'll think about that and say, wait a minute, this is kind of a silly thing and maybe they'll change their mind a little bit. People who aren't as wise, a lot of times they'll just want things and then that will kind of control them and, and they'll go off and do things even if it's not good for them or not good for the people around them. So the dragon is, is really controlled by his wants. He doesn't really think about what he needs or what would make his life wonderful. So my guess is the dragon is kind of unhappy because even though he has all this treasure, his needs aren't being met. And we can probably use that understanding to kind of tame him, to learn how to get along with him and maybe even help him. So uh, I think we're ready. Let's go into his cave, come on. Awesome, we're gonna go into, go into his cave. Well, little ninjas, we're here now inside of the Lonely Mountain. So as we come in, I think we should actually call out to the dragon so he knows we're coming. So let's, let's all call together. Dragon! Oh, dragon! We're coming in! Show two. We're, we come in peace! Oh! Whoa! Who are you? Why are you here? Hi! I'm Instructor Alberto, and these are some wonderful young little ninjas and young heroes who are on a mission to help the kingdom of Allegoria. So you've come to fight me. Well, I could use a good snack. We actually haven't come to fight you. Uh, we've actually come to help you. Really? That's never happened before. I think you're just trying to steal my treasure. Well, we'd be lying if we, if we told you that there weren't things in your treasure hoard that we want. But I honestly can tell you, we're not going to take anything from your treasure hoard without your permission. Ha 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 ha! Well, you'll never 
Get my permission. My treasure is precious to me. I never, ever share. Well, actually, that's why we're here. We, we didn't come to steal from you. We actually came to see if we could help you. We've heard that you've actually lost your freedom, that you are being controlled and held prisoner by your treasure hoard. <laughs> Ruled by my treasure. That's silly. I am the Great Fog. I am the most environmentally friendly dragon. And I am mighty. I do what I wish, when I wish. No one can stop me. Except yourself. What? What do you mean? Well, when was the last time that you went outside and just soared through the air? Or when was the last time you went out underneath the night stars and blew fire and watched the shadows? You know, when was the last time you made a new friend or, or helped someone or even spent any of your gold? It has been a long time since I've done those things. But I could if I, if I wanted to. Well, I don't think you can. I bet you couldn't even part with a single piece. I, I, I could give up a piece of treasure if I, if I wanted to. Then prove it. Your treasure hoard is so huge, so large, filled with so many treasures that one small treasure wouldn't make any difference. Prove that you can want to be free. Prove that you can do something other than just sit here and guard your treasure. Prove it to yourself. Fine. I'll... I'll let one of these little ninjas choose a treasure from my hoard. Hmm. I'm curious. I can give you any toy. My treasure hoard has all sorts of toys. It has jewels as big as a horse. It even has magical jewels. What do you want? Remember, little ninjas, this isn't actually about what you want. This is about what the kingdom of Allegoria needs, and about what you need. You want the magic jewel? One of the seven jewels of Allegoria? I have so many fancier treasures than that. Are you sure you just want the little jewel? Fine. Have it. Boing. Thank you, Fog. You truly are a great dragon. Well, thanks to you two, humans. That actually felt kind of nice to give something away. Can't remember the last time I did that. You know what? I think... I think I'm gonna go for a fly. Well, feel free to come back and visit again. I... I did enjoy your visit. Maybe... Maybe someday we could even be friends. I hope so, Fog. I hope so. Well, little ninjas, well done. Really well done. We've completed today's mission. You know, we've... We've helped the King of Allegoria, and we've found this awesome magic jewel. Now, this jewel is a really special, really powerful jewel, because it has the power to remind us of what's important. It helps us value our needs and the needs of others, and it helps us be wise with our wants. And that's a pretty special jewel. Little ninjas, I had so much fun with you today in the Kingdom of Allegoria. I hope we get to come back here a bunch of times and do some wonderful other missions and learn some cool things and go on crazy awesome adventures. For now though, it's time to come back to the real world. So let's come back, uh, come back to the real world and let's, let's wrap up class, let's do our mock do. But great job. So stand up nice and strong, get in position, and remember, repeat after me and, and copy what I do. Okay, so get ready and shoot!
Chariot. Kanye. Key. Good job. Mokdo Jambi. Quietly, softly kneeling down. Spine nice and tall. Good. And Mokdo Shishak. Eyes closed, spine tall. You can sit still and breathe. You could think about something you learned today or some fun that you had. Mokdo Baro, eyes open, standing up. And show! Chariot! Kanye! Key! Good job, Windows. And hands to heart. And to you. And, and do this to me too. Namaste. And if there's a mom, if your mom or dad or someone else is in the room with you, feel free to turn to them and, and put your hands to your heart and wish them love and happiness with your namaste to them. And to any parents in the room, um, <laughs> namaste to you too. Cool. Hope you guys are doing well and I hope to see you next time. For now, uh, bye. <laughs>